So today I have the pleasure of hosting Mr. Robert Schmidt, who is the Chief Strategy Officer and Partner at the Kensington Properties. Thank you very much, sir, for making time to be with us. You've been to Rwanda one too many times, and this time you're also into real estate, and we see Rwanda developing, growing towards achieving more development in terms of real estate. What is your impression of Rwanda when it comes to that? Uh, to be very honest, when I uh, I was not in Rwanda for more than three years, and I was really surprised how fast everything is going. I see uh, this beautiful hotel and many other developments ongoing. So I believe Rwanda is in a very very good way. Rwanda is in the uh, one of the fastest growing economies in the last ten years, always in Africa and in the world. So it's the time for us also to to set up our Central Africa headquarter here. And we are mainly doing three, we are here for three things. First of all, we want to open brokers, uh, Rwanda real estate brokers, the way to, to the world. And um, secondly, we want to help them their business grow through three uh, to two things. One is technology and second is education. So education from our point of view is, is, is very important for all industries and fields. And we have our own educational institution in, 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 in Dubai, very successful. <clears throat> and we want to bring this kind of real estate education also to Rwanda, but not only real estate, also um, education related to IT to technology and uh, to hospitality. This is the three fields where we are very well connected. So do we see you partnering with Rwandans when it comes to education, technology of the real estate workforce? Definitely, definitely. Um, we, we will, our um, idea is to help to build up the real estate sector in a very serious way. As we see in many countries, we see uh, issues with the quality for example the reputation of brokers in many countries is very low and this is only because of the education and the way how you uh, how a broker can get licensed in some countries you just uh, go there you uh, you open your business and you're a broker but you're dealing with money of, of, of people you're advising people to do uh, big decisions some of them they buy only one house in their whole life so um, these decisions should be based on, on, on knowledge and this is what we are trying to bring here to Rwanda. You've rightly put it because man, many people when they think about you know, real estate brokers, people think you know, they're, not, you know, they're not on the straight line. So your institute, will this help them be better brokers in Africa or also be able to compete globally? Yes, this is exactly the, the idea. We are uh, cooperating with the Rwanda uh, Association of Real Estate Brokers. We are, um, they are very, uh, they are uh, connected with, with the government and we are trying also to implement um, the basics for uh, licensing uh, of brokerage firms and of brokers, so which from our point of view is absolutely necessary. There is some, some entry level which everybody has to uh, fulfill. You mentioned technology. Could you take us through some of the technological things that maybe we could be looking forward to when it comes to technology and yes. brokerage? Um, one thing what we will introduce uh, uh, within the next, let's say, uh, three to four months is a property portal. Um, a portal where the brokerage firms can put their uh, properties, what they have to sell or to rent online, so that everybody who has access to internet can uh, get a better market uh, overview. Um, at the same time, when you set such a, broader, a portal, it's also um, good for a pricing. So people who want to buy or rent something, they find an overview and they can easily find out what is really the market price for this area or this particular development. And um, to, to have such a prod, uh, portal, you need also the technology to um, what we call a CRM system, a customer relationship management system, which helps the brokers to manage their uh, relations with their customers and also put the, their projects, their properties online. So they feed their system and this allows them much more controlling. I mean, this is what we have um, every, everywhere. And something like this is not existing yet. 
We, we, I had today a meeting with the biggest real estate company in, in, in Rwanda here and they told me they had to develop their own system but they are trying this now since three years and it was very difficult to find companies to, to support them and so we will also partner up with them and help them to... to your background comes to you know investments, investments rather, and investors. So, do we see you attracting investors to come to Rwanda and Definitely. buy property and live in Rwanda? Definitely. I mean, we, um, our company is, in, is 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 based in in Dubai. We have many investors uh, looking for 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 investments across the globe. Especially Dubai is a is a real melting pot. Mm -hmm. So. Um, investors uh, in Dubai invest most probably in the whole world because they are from everywhere. We have a lot of investors from Africa and we have a lot of investors from Russia, from Europe, from, uh, from Asia, China, India, Pakistan, all these countries. And we also want to, to offer them the possibility also through the portal, which will be at a later stage international so that everybody either in, in China or in Dubai has the access to uh, to get an overview or to buy a property here in Rwanda through the local brokers. So for people who probably are watching and saying, yeah, maybe could, this could be another scheme. We've seen people come and fail and try these things out. Yeah. What would be your word to them to assure them that this can really work and we can have people who are in real estate that we can actually trust and believe in? You mean you talk about uh, buyers or, yes, or buyers, you know, clients who now want to buy the property? I mean. The first thing what we uh, have to work on, I don't know how, how difficult this is, but we will work on this to establish a system that when somebody is a broker, a licensed run this real estate broker, this is some level of quality need to be assured. Also, um, we will uh, try to convince the government if somebody is, uh, let's say, uh, failing doing his job in the right way he should not be allowed to continue his business as a real estate brokerage this is how it's in Europe or US or wherever um, so that you also um, have some kind of compliance and, and business ethics uh, what uh, how to act and how not to act this is also part of our trainings the ethics of real estate business and real estate business I mean everybody needs a house it's a, a business which you need in every country, but um, it's only about how uh, people are educated and how they follow their ethics and how they're also controlled by the government. Mm, it's true. And in terms of construction, we know your properties, people either buy them or others prefer to build them. So do we see you building some of them? In um, not, this is not in our uh, nearer focus, but what we for sure will do is partner up with developers support them with finance and also uh, administration for sales and help them uh, to sell their properties internationally. How easy was it to, for you to register your company in Rwanda? Um, very easy, <laughs> very easy. I mean Rwanda is a very a business... other countries that you've been to? A uh, very business focused country. Um, it's top, one of the top countries in the world definitely. And this is also what people need to know that Rwanda is a good place to choose as a, as a headquarter because also you, you, f you, you find qualified stuff. Um, many people speak English, which is not in every African country the same. So for, for international companies that's important. And we want to help with the institute also to qualify people more um, to, uh, to attract uh, international companies to come to Rwanda. Ahead of your launch tomorrow, what can people look forward to when they come in tomorrow? What can they expect to get from we have We have two events. One is for, uh, for brokers, where we talk about how we can help them to grow their business. And second is an event for, uh, for people who are also in, interested in investment, international investments, mm -hmm. through the brokers. So the brokers will benefit from this. Thank you very much, sir, for making time. Pleasure. Thank you.